Hey, what's up, people of God? I pray that you are continuing to persevere. You know, I pray that you're standing. I pray that you're battling. But I do know that it's it's this life that we're in, man, it's a daily fight. I know it's rough and I know it gets tough, but we have to continue. We have to continue to do the things that it takes to build ourselves up. We have to continue to make the moves and make the steps and do those necessary things that it's going to take in order for us to be the man or the woman of God that he, that he purposed in our lives to be. And one thing I want I want to go over and share with you as as I was reading a passage of scripture in Third John. It was in Third John. It says right here in Third John. Um, chapter number two says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Logically speaking, God wants us. God doesn't mind us prospering and having great things, big houses, several cars, and things of that nature. That's great. That's part of, that's part of the blessed plan. But at the same time, he wants us. He wants you. He wants all of you. He wants your total effort. He wants your total being. God wants you. He, 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 he created us in his image and God desires you. And what I mean by that in Romans 12 and 2, it says, present your bodies, you, us, present your bodies to God as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. God is saying, man, I want you. I understand what you have, but I want you. I understand how much you make, but I want you. I know what income bracket you're in, but I want you because I, I because I shaped and mold you and you're going through what you're going through because you're not giving, uh, I, I, I don't have all of you. You see, it's someone out there that's not giving God everything. It's someone out there that's not giving God what he, what he desires. And you're going through some unnecessary things that you don't have to go through because you're not giving God everything. You're not giving God your total self. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm a living witness to that. God wants all of you. God loves you so much that he will allow you to go through some necessary dangers because he doesn't have all of you. And God, so God wants your full attention. You got to give God everything. Because he is everything and he does not bless us haphazardly. God, when he blesses us, he does it well. When he blesses us, he blesses us like never before. When he provides, he provides well. He doesn't half provides. He doesn't part portion provides. He doesn't uh, one fourth provides. He fully provides for us. And God wants that in return. And we deserve to give it to him. We have to give him our all. So if you're not doing that, make Make sure that you evaluate yourself today. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that, God, I owe you more than what I've been giving you. God, I should be giving you more than what I am doing. I should be uh, uh, opening up myself so you can use me. I should be opening up myself so you can shape and mold me until, into the man or woman of God that I'm supposed to be. And I guarantee you, when you open up yourself to him, watch what he does for you. And it really doesn't matter. As long as he's doing it, you're going to be okay. So you have to realize that God will work everything out for our good, but we have to give ourselves to him. So people of God, hang in there. Give yourself to God. Give everything to him. Give your total trust, your total being, all of your fiber. Make sure you're giving God what he desires. And when you do, God will not let you down. God will always stand firm and be God in your life. Continue to persevere, people of God, because I'm telling you, great things happen when you do. There are some things on down the road. And if you're going to see those things, if you're going to experience those things, you're only going to get there by persevering. So continue, 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 and watch what God going to do. Hey, Hang in there, persevere. We're going to persevere together. Pray for me and I'll pray for you and watch what God is going to do for us in our lives. Talk to you soon. Be blessed. Hang in there.